Hi everybody, my name is Lauren Martin and today I am going to walk you guys through how to search for properties on our mobile app. So I'm going to go over three different ways and the first way that I'm going to show you guys is how to search by address. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do once you're into the app, you're going to want to go from the daily tab over to the search tab so where you can see the map. Then in the top bar across the top where you see it says address, you're going to want to start typing in the address that you're looking for. So for this I'm going to do 5509 32nd Street North and that's in Arlington, Virginia. And then you want to click on the address under the addresses section. Once you click on the address, it's going to take you back to the map and show you where that parcel lies relative to other parcels in the neighborhood. So you can see here we're seeing that property and then you get a little picture kind of like a property postcard here below that shows you that property and you're going to want to click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to open up the property details page and this is where you can see all the listing information if it's currently on the market and you can see all of our public record data. So things like estimated net equity, bedroom, bathroom count, all that kind of fun stuff. So that's the first way. That's how to search by address. All right, moving on to the next one. All right, everybody, so now that we know how to search by address, the second way to search is to search by zip code. So searching by zip code is going to allow you to type in a zip code and draw the boundary lines on the map and search all the parcels within that given zip code. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're on the search page and you're seeing that map. Then you're going to click on the search bar up at the top and start typing in that zip code. So I'm going to do 22079 and then select that zip code underneath the zip code section. Once I select the zip code, if you'll see on the map, it actually outlines for me the exact zip code boundary and it's pulling in all the parcels within that zip code. So now I can zoom all the way into the parcel level just like I showed you guys under search by address and you can click on any parcels within that zip code or we can click sort and filter up at the top and search that way. All right, everybody, the last way that we're going to cover how to search today is to search by city. So just like we did for the zip code, searching by city allows you to draw the city boundary lines on the map and be able to search all the parcels within. And again, this is just a few ways on how to search within Remind. You can also search on our mobile app by first and last name. Um, if you're on the pro plan, you can search by school district, but the last one we're going to cover is to search by city. So let's get started. Again, make sure that you're on the map. Once you're on the map screen, you're going to want to go up to that search bar again, just like we have for the last two ways to search. And we're going to type in our city. So I'm going to search Arlington, Virginia. So I type in Arlington and you might need to scroll down on the screen until you see that city section and then click on Arlington. If you see here, it's also going to draw the boundary lines on the map and you can toggle over from map to list view and it's going to show you all the properties within that list. You can click on a property just like we did in the beginning, view all of the different listing informations, public record informations, and then to go back to the map, you're just going to toggle back over to the map. So that is all the fun ways on how to search within our mobile app. So just as a recap, today we first searched how to search by address. Second way was how to search by zip code. And last was how to search by city. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. You can shoot us an email over at training at remind.com. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot today, and we look forward to seeing you guys at a training in the future. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.